We'll just cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. Um, what can you tell us about what's happening with the Vincent and Kat relationship in season two? Yeah. Well, you know, in season one we pulled them together so quickly because, you know, everyone knows that they're destined to be together, those two characters. Um, so in season two they're gonna be challenged. The whole mantra of season two for everyone is who am I and that's what we come in with. <laughs> You know, am I man or am I beast? And that's through his current dilemma of being captured by his creator, which is Murfield. And they basically rewired him, in a, in a sense, to make him, you know, the, the beast, the super soldier that they intended him to always be. So, you know, when he's finally found by, um, by Catherine, he's really going to have to navigate that with her. And um, I think they're going to... You know, have to discover a bit of self-discovery to come back and make their uh, relationship stronger, the bond stronger. How excited are you to play season two, Vincent, being all rewired and supercharged? It really excited. It gives me something more to, to play with, and we've also redeveloped the, the actual beast prosthetic makeup. Um, so we've really honed that down into what it should be and you know it's I've had a lot more input this time as well because you know now I can and things haven't really been decided when you come onto a, a season um, so I, I'm, I'm excited I get to do so much more we've got a, a, a great new oh, bye I love you see ya <laughs> thank you we've got a great new um, uh, a team who are the stunt coordinators and they're really working with me to create this new super soldier sort of kind of beast movement and how that all works. Yeah. And how much, you know, you said that you have more input now, like how much input did you have in terms of like movement or bonus powers? Did you say, hey, I want to do this, so can you just Yeah, like, well I think, over? you know, I was like, where are the bonus powers? And, and the whole <laughs> night vision thing sort of popped up in, in, in season one. But this season, um, we've made the beast scary, you know. We are gonna, it's got a lot of what you want to see and what is implied that the beast has done um, that is, is, is a way that you can shoot television and make it kind of I don't know compete against those big Marvel <laughs> movies you know we don't have the budget or, or the time to do that so we're gonna go back to the old school sort of Jaws tactics I guess in a way so we're really gonna play with that a bit more um, yeah and I think things will sort of develop as we go along but, um, yeah, it's something new for me to, to work with. Vincent's universe is really going to open up in this season. Um, you're going to discover finally who sort of he was raised with, why he's JT's friend, um, what JT's ultimate purpose is for protecting Vincent for so long, um, his loyalty, where that lies. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot. We're really focusing in on the mythology this season, and the procedural has kind of slipped away. Our purpose for it to establish characters is no longer needed. When Vincent comes back after three months, how does his relationship with JT pick back up? Well, it's um, it's tough, you know. He has a lot of guilt within him, Vincent. Um, you know, he feels guilty for being captured, for not really saving or protecting Catherine in the way that he should. He feels that like he's failed. So, you know, he really, I don't know, he feels disconnected from JT and from Catherine a lot. Um, and so he really has to, I don't know, he just kind of has to decide if he's man or he's beast. All right, thank you. Thank you.